Okay guys, welcome to video number two, and today we're going to be looking at how do we find the slope at a point on a curve? How do we do that? Now hopefully the physics students have told you how to possibly do it. There's some tricks you can do in physics to figure it out, but this is always assuming that your curve is changing its slope constantly. Uh, that's because usually in physics we're dealing with um, accelerations that are constant. We're usually dealing with a an acceleration that is always negative 9.8 meters per second squared, the acceleration due to gravity. And so everything falls at the same rate. Uh, and we don't have to worry about things as much. But, well... That doesn't have to be the case. In fact, with higher level physics, that's not the case. Things change over time, and uh, nothing's very constant. And, and in math, what we're going to do is say, okay, well, what do you do if your curve is not changing its slope at a, in a constant way, but actually changing all over the place? For example, the one you see in front of you, that is definitely not curving at a constant rate because it's changing. It's first, it's got a, if you look over here on, um, let me try to look at this. How do I figure out the, the, the slope at any point? Um, let's just pick a point. Let's just pick a point and think about it now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just uh, look right here. And let's call this uh, point A. And this has a value of uh, some value x, x1. And it has a value of y, uh, y1. And if this was a straight line, and I said, okay, what's the slope there? You would say, well, um, I just have to take another point. Let's just take this point over here. And we're going to call it uh, point B, I guess. And that'll be at x2, y2. Now notice, I'm not doing uh, x's and t's. I'm just looking at this in terms of an xy graph. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing because... Just like in uh, x versus t graphs, where we're trying to find velocity, here you're trying to make a new graph uh, that shows you the slopes of this graph. This is what we're trying to do. So if I'm, I'm looking for that, then I'm looking for the slope, then I'm looking for this line here. And I think, well, is, is that really what I want? Let me see. And, and let, me get, let me erase this so it's a little, little dotted here. Uh, dot, 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 dot. There, that's better. Okay, so I got this line. Nice. Okay. So that means um, this is made up of a, uh, a uh, some sort of uh, delta x. Let's just flatten that out. There we go. And this direction also. There we go. And so what do I got? What do I got? How do I do this? Um, this would be on this side. Uh, this should be delta well, it's delta y. It's it's a change in the y direction. How do I get it? Well, I would uh, take my y2, and I'd subtract my y1. Subtract y1. That's pretty much how I do it. And how about here? Uh, delta x is, in this case, equal to x2 uh, minus x1. So the slope here is equal to... Uh, Y, whoops, I don't know why I drew it that way. My brain died just then. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. and or, or I could just simply say delta Y over delta X. But is that the slope at A? It is, it is not the slope at A. It's not. Um, it's some other slope. It's it's just the slope between these two points. So it's for me, it's kind of useless. And what 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 kind of line is this? This is this is actually what we call a secant line. Secant line. It's a line that touches two points on a curve. So here I have a secant line. Uh, if you were doing this in physics, we would say, oh, I'm I'm getting the average velocity, not the actual specific velocity. But remember, I'm not, I'm not looking at velocities right now. I'm just looking at the slope here. And now, how, what would be the slope of this curve? And, and if I thought about it, okay, well, let's, let me see. Can I erase this? Yeah. Let me, let's go back. Hold on. I'm going to go back to A. Here's my A again. A, which is x1, y1, 
whoops, only one, not two. And if I drew it, I'd have to draw it. I would say, okay, it kind of looks like this, I think, something like that. So what am I looking for? What am I looking for? And we've talked about this before. And you know that what I'm looking for is a point on the curve right here. It goes like this. It touches it, touches only at one point. Right? This is the tangent line. I'm looking for the tangent line. Secant line is no good. I want the tangent line. How do I get the tangent line? I, I'm having a little bit of a trouble. Um, let's put my my x. There's my x2, y2 up here. Well, I should put a comma there, shouldn't I? There we go, comma. So let's ask ourselves: What? What if? What if? Let me see. Let's bring these lines down. Oh, that's not a very good line. Well, sorry. X1, and then here we go x2. Here's x2. Now, here's the line. Let me see. Let's just draw the line. Here's my secant line. Secant line is the point between these two. Okay, so what if what if I brought what if I brought what if let me see. What if whoops. Sorry. Question is what if I brought uh, x2 closer to x1. Okay, so let me, let me just bring him over here. I'm going to bring him about here. x1. Okay, so there's x1. So uh, it's actually a new point now, but let's ask ourselves, what does this look like? Um, okay, that's, well, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go even closer. All right. Um, let's see, there's my new X, okay, I shouldn't call that X1, that's X2, I'm going to go even closer, X2, what do I got, what do I got, it's going to look like, alright, that's, that's not as good, okay, keep going, keep going, what do we got, oops, sorry, what do we got, keep going, it's going to be looking about, say, there, I can't see it very well. Let's see if you can see it. Ugh. Oh, not very good. It's hard to tell, but what's going to happen is that as you get closer and closer and closer, as I get closer, as, as I do this, the secant line, the secant line, is looking more and more like the tangent line. And that's what I want. So if I bring x2 closer and closer and closer, I start getting that line that I want. Okay, what what does this what does this look like? What is it, what what do I mean by bringing x two closer and closer and closer? Now, some of you probably already know what I'm trying to say here. But let's start over again. Once again, I want to look at this in a slightly different way. Okay, can we make a graph of the slopes? All right. Remember, we want to graph up all the slopes. Because right now what I'm talking about is trying to find the slope of one point, right? Let's just say this is A here. X1, Y1. And I want to find the slope right. I'm just trying to find this slope. But I want the slopes at like this point and this point and this point and this point. It's not enough just to find the slope at one point. I'm looking for a function. I'm looking for something where I can make a brand new graph of the slopes at all points. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for f. If this is f of x, I am looking for f prime of x. I'm looking for a whole function because then I can just plug in any x and I can find out what the slope is at that point. That's what I'm interested in. 
So let's look at this a little different. Okay. So I'm going to say that I've got a x1, y1, and I've got an x2, y2, just like I said before. And I think we would agree that what we got here is a what? This and this. And what I'm doing here is I've got uh, a delta y and a delta x. All right. X2 minus I1, x1, and y2 minus y1. And I want to talk about this distance being really just simply a delta x. Okay, so this is just delta x. So let's say what this is again. This is a little different then. Okay, I don't want to say x2, y2 anymore. Okay, let's call this, call this instead, what? Well, this is x1, y1. And if I go delta x over, then this isn't really x2, it's what? What is it? It's x1 plus delta x. That's really what it is. Right? It's really that. So then what is y2? Well, let's rename this. This is not x1, y1. This is x1, what? Function of x1. Right? I'm plugging in x1 into the function to get the y. Okay, then. So what is it over here? Well, this is the function of what? Oh, it's x1 plus delta x. I've got a new way of calling this. It, it, it's perfectly fine to call it this way. I'm adding a delta x. And what do I want? This is all... So, this is for this line, right? Remember, this is for this line. The secant line. But I want the tangent line. I want the tangent line. The tangent line... is where what? Well, it's where as I bring x2 closer and closer and closer to x1. So what's changing? My delta x. My delta x is getting closer and closer to zero. So it's where delta x approaches, uh-oh, approaches. I know this, approaches means limits. Ah, uh, here we know. Now we know what we're doing. As delta x approaches zero, I'm getting in closer and closer to the tangent line. So what is? So I want, I want the slope. The slope of what? The slope of delta x. over delta t of the tangent, right, of the tangent, okay, and how do I get that? Well, that's going to be, well, actually, no. First, let's go, okay, how do I get that? How do I get it? Well, let's look at slope of secant. Slope of the secant. What is it now? I've renamed everything. So what is the slope of the secant? Well, that's delta y. Okay, change in y. So that will be what? F of x plus delta x minus f of x all over what? Oh, delta x. So, let's just look at that for a second. So this is right here. Just take a look at that. This is the slope of the secant line. Remember, this is the secant line. All right, that's just from like this point and this point. Da -da 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 -da. That's the slope of this line. Right? But I want the slope of the tangent. Slope of the tangent. I think some of you already know this. Just think about it. The slope of the tangent line, that is going to be the limit as delta x approaches 
zero of the secant line. Now we have a problem. We have a problem. We're dividing by zero. Because as, as delta x approaches zero, I got this. So the question is, is, how do I actually do this? But remember, what have I gotten here? If I find this, the, the function of the tangent line, I have now created the derivative. This is how I'm getting. It will be a function. This is the way we're going to get the slope at any point. So we need to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you something. And uh, then uh, I want you to try this. Look at this equation and then ask yourself, what if the function, what if f of x is equal to x squared plus 1? And I want to find out the uh, what is the equation for the tangent line, line at x equals 2. So first start off with the secant line. See if you can give me something for that. And then ask yourself, what would be the slope of the tangent line? And we're going to do that in the next video. So I'll see you there.